All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got an absolutely bananas hill climb. I can't feel my butt cheeks when I'm with you, but I love it. All right. Never been here before. Apparently it's a super duper long rocky climb. And uh, it's holding up to that. Yeah, and at this point I have absolutely no idea what I'm signing up for. I'm about to get way over in my head and we're about to find out whether or not I can actually take this bike to the top of this hill climb. We really did not know, well at least I did not know how long this is going to be. Luckily this is the first and only time I stall throughout the whole climb, so I'm not having to do a whole kickstart fest. But uh, yeah, this is a 7 kilometer uphill. Let's see if a Chinese pit bike can make it to the top. You guys are going to have to find out by watching to see what happens. So uh, let's hop into it. Let's kick her up and see what can happen. No idea what I was signing up for. No idea what's around each corner. Okay. Okay. This is gnarly. This is the most gnarly trail I've probably ever done. It's the longest hill climb I've ever done. It's a 22 minute long hill climb and this thing is crazy. This is some friggin' rock climbing on an Apollo RSE. This is literally a dried out old riverbed with some freaking gnarly boulders. Oh my goodness. Yeah, gnarly riverbed in the boulders are big ones on this trail. My ass is going to be destroyed after this from bouncing on this shit. No thanks to this super duper hard seat of the Apollo RFC. And I know you guys are saying, well, just stand. It's really hard to stand when the bike's bouncing all over the place. This is crazy. This is up there for one of the craziest trails I've ever done, for sure. It's a gnarly one. Oh boy, here we go up. Up we are about to go. This climb is by far the longest hill climb I've ever done. And it uh, it's a long one. It's the, probably the longest consecutive hill climb I've ever done, maybe the longest trail ever that's just one big, huge, long hill climb. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna be saying oh my goodness the whole way up. This one is an oh my goodness. Yeah, Apollo. Apollo shredding it. Holy Christ. It's a doozy of a trail, I tell you what, boys. What a hill climb, boys. Oh my God. Yeah, this one is a brutal hook climb. I've never been so exhausted and tired trying to go up a single trail. My hands were absolutely killing me. And then we're just here just trying to really just give a second to breathe, get the energy back in you. Be like, holy crap, that was nuts. It just shook the hell out of me. My hands are tired, my calves are hurting. It's uh, it's gonna be a long, grueling hill climb and I was not ready for what's around every corner. It just kept going and going and going and getting harder and harder and harder. It just never really let up on you. Oh. Yeah, I'm dying already. But we're already into this, so we're definitely not gonna turn around. We're just gonna keep going and we're gonna we're gonna set it up this freaking trail boys. So it's what it is, let's keep going. Come on, baby. It's decently surprised at how well the Apollo did do up a trail like this. This man is really tough. Like whether the camera shows or not, these boulders that are in the trails, there's some serious nuggets, man. They just throw you right off your game. You gotta pick a really good line to get stuff here. Like these, these rocks, big rocks, man. The little tiny tires makes it really difficult. Oh my goodness! But it's a pretty sweet trail. Really, really cool trail. It's usually a trail though that you only see trucks going up. This is a trail, all right. It's one heck of a trail, boy. I'll tell you what. This one was kicking my butt. Sure. That sure was more of a like a kill me. I'm not so sure. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it, but okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's more of just like a yeah, sure, let's keep going. Sure. Yeah, that was a really, really sure, sure, really uncertainty. I'm not sure. But nonetheless, we're gonna keep going. So up we go, and it's gonna get crazier because literally the farther we get into this hill climb, the harder it's gonna get, the boulders get bigger, the obstacles get harder, it gets more off camber. You guys are not gonna wanna miss it. You definitely gonna wanna stick around and see what happens. This is gnarly.
gnarly, boys. Doesn't matter what bike you're on, this one's there. There's some rocky ass stuff. Definitely, this is like where it'd be really helpful to have even bigger wheels. And like having the full size wheel set of a big size dirt bike is way more beneficial than these pit bike size tires. I'm saying to have one of the big size dirt bikes would be helpful because it just lets you roll over some of the rocks and the obstacles a whole lot easier when you have a full size bike with that full size suspension and full size wheels. Oh my goodness. Because I tell you what, riding on the small Apollo RFC, the thing's a little ripper, but it gets pretty tough when you get into the big obstacle stuff like this with the uh, big rocks, big ledges, big things to climb over with the tiny wheels. They just want to spin out instead of climbing over. So it's all about keeping your momentum going on the Apollo. You pick a line, but whether you fall or not is something else, ain't it? Yeah, sometimes it just points you somewhere else. Yeah. This is insane. Yeah, it can be really hard. You think you got a solid line and you hit one boulder with your front tire. Oh my goodness, this is difficult, boys. And it throws you off your line and yeah, it becomes really difficult. This is like, the longest continual hill climb ever for kilometers. I think it genuinely might be the longest hill climb on a trail ever. It's like I said, this is like a 22 minute long hill climb and it is a grueling long one. So it's definitely not an easy hill climb at that. Even if it's not the world's longest, it's definitely one of the harder ones, but it's, it's a long one. Holy smokes. Oh, I got mad death grip. Gotta loosen up those hands here for a minute before I know we get like right back into it. Oh, my ass is getting just destroyed. Just pounded. This seat on the Apollo is the worst seat ever. Never sat on a seat worse. Might as well just give me a fucking two by four. At this point, that's what it is. It's actually a piece of ABS plastic is what it is. And that's what it feels like too. But then again, the XR that I get to enjoy the seat from is like the softest seat ever. So if you're fairly new to four wheeling, but you want to see where your truck would go, put the face and wide. Yeah. Give them a good adventure. If the rock around the corner, they'd really go, holy fuck, if you can get up, up it. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can get up it. Yeah, ready? I guess so. I can't feel my butt cheeks when I'm with you. But I love it. But I love it. Oh. I can't feel my butt cheeks when I'm with you. Ow, it's right in my mouth. But I love it, but I love it, woo, woo! Yeah, that is probably one of the biggest downfalls to the Apollo RFC is that the seat absolutely sucks. I know you guys are saying just to stand up, but it's hard when you're getting fucked all over the place. You stand up falling to your butt, so you're able to like kind of dab with your feet, catch yourself from falling on the rocks. But that seat is so unbelievably thin, it's not even funny. Like compared to the Honda XR, that seat's like a cushion. And this thing is like literally sitting on a rock. It's so freaking hard on the Apollo RFC. It's definitely an upgrade you might want to look into. Oh boy. <sighs> you can hear I'm getting a little bit exhausted, a little bit tired, because you are, you're just dabbing your feet down all over the place. You're falling left and right. You're trying to just keep your balance. You're hitting rocks. It's kicking you all over the place. The little rocks, man, they're like pebbles. They're super loose. None of this stuff's packed. So it's like if you're spinning it all on it, you're going to have a whole lot of trouble getting out there. All, but just trying to keep the momentum, steady throttle, just being smooth and consistent the whole way through is you know what be what helps you get up. So that's what I'm trying to just really do here is just be smooth and consistent, but it's pretty hard. Almost off into the toolies. Yeah, and as you start getting tired, you start getting more like slack and your body starts loosening up, so then you start falling over easier and like it's harder to catch yourself, and then sooner or later you end up kind of pointed into the woods. At this point, I'm super thankful that there's like a couple of handfuls of seconds of breaks in between these rock climbs, so just to be able to breathe for a second. Oh 
boy. This is a riverbed, all right. Oh my God. So now we're gonna go ahead and get started getting into some really big boulder stuff that's gonna start getting a lot more difficult here in the next couple of corners. So tend to buckle up. What am I getting into? You're about to get into some really tough trails, my brother. Time to hold on, buckle up, and get down to her. Although they were super fun, but just super tough trails. Up, up, and away. Up, up, and away is right. This is nuts. Just keeps climbing and climbing and climbing. At this point, I thought there's no way there could be any more hill. Like, we gotta be at the top. But I couldn't have been any further from wrong. The trail's only gonna get rougher. It's only gonna get harder. It's only gonna get steeper. And I'm still in for one hell of a ride. Oh, what a trail, man. Feels like it's about to be over, but it's really not. We're actually just about to get into some really good stuff. I don't know if I'm ready for it, but it's time to be ready because it's gonna get difficult. My hands are already killing me. My legs are definitely killing me at this point. I got death grip like a mofo. This is where we'll get a little more rocky. Yeah. yeah. You smelly. What does it smell like? Coolant. Does it? And motor. And yours and motor? Yeah, it smells like both. I'll go up one more climb and then sit. Oh, here goes nothing. Real rocky here. Oh, baby. Absolutely cool. Absolutely cool in trying to get up the stuffs. You're right, this is definitely where it looks like it starts to get a bit rougher. Or not. Did you just shut off? Yeah, it's hot. Oh yeah, it's steaming. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got an absolutely bananas hill climb. Let's see how the Apollo can do, I guess. Oh, or maybe if even I can do it. Now this is where it's starting to be really grueling. I'm just trying to pick the exact perfect line choice to keep traction here, because this stuff's really, really big obstacles. Trying to get up on top of this bedrock here. Not slip, not fall, it's diagonal, off camber, slippery. I'm trying to just see a line through here. I'm like, okay, here we go. Whether it shows it on camera or not, this stuff's steep. Thank goodness we made it up that. Oh my. Wasn't pretty, but I'll take it. Woo! That? Wasn't pretty, but I'll take it. Yeah. This is a unreal little trail here. It ain't, sorry, it ain't little. This is a trail. Trail in a fucking half. Holy shit. Holy doggy. Huh. Wow. I wonder what we're getting into up here.
deeper. I wonder if that's a forecast for something else. I guess we go find out, boys and girls. Lake right beside us. What's this? Lake. Oh, I know. This is a uh, forest lake. Oh, okay. Interesting. Speak too soon, Aaron. Don't speak. Oh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> 